Dear students, today we take a second lecture on analytical chemistry. The topic of our uh, lecture, second lecture, is redox titration. Redox titration are based on an oxidation reduction reaction between the analyte and titrant. Redox titrations are carried out by using a potentiometer or a redox indicator to determine the end point. In the redox titration, oxidizing components are titrated with a reducing agents or vice versa. Only a few reactions are suitable for quantitative analysis, which the first proceed to the end, second proceed quickly, third form products of a certain composition, fourth allow fixing the equivalent point, fifth does not enter into side interactions, sixth are are reversible. Titrant solutions in redox titration, solutions of oxidizing and reducing agents. And depending on the conditions, they can enter into reactions involving a different number of electrons. Don't have constant equivalent. For example, we can see the equation of the uh, redox reaction uh, in permanganatometry. For example, permanganatometry um, is a titrant solution. In titran permanganatometry, titrant solution is potassium permanganate, 0 0.05 molarity concentration of potassium permanganate. As we see from the equation, we have three equations. One of these in acidic medium, one of these in neutral, one of these in alkaline medium. Uh, we can see from the equation that in each reaction uh, is participate uh, the different number of electrons. For example, in uh, acidic medium, in the reaction is participate five electrons, in natural three electrons, in alkaline just one electron. And according on these, we have the different uh, their equivalents. For example, equivalent in uh, of potassium permanganate in uh, acidic medium is equal molarity mass, molar mass, divide on 5. Because in the reaction in acidic medium, participate 5 electron. And equilibrium of the uh, titrant solution is equal 31.6. In the next equation, uh, in the reaction participates 3 electrons, equilibrium of the potassium permanganate in this medium is equal molar mass divide, is divided uh, on three on the number of electrons. In the neutral, uh, in the alkali medium, sorry, in alkali medium, uh, molar mass divide uh, one, uh, 158 divide one, and it will be 158. Conditions for the oxidation reduction uh, titration. A necessary condition for the applicability of the reaction is the possibility of the determining the equivalent point the, depending on the value of the uh, electromotive force. Electromotive force must be more 0 0.4 volt. The reason of the substitution redox titration is that the substance does not participate in the redox reaction. Classification of the oxidation reduction titration. It's classified on permanganatometry, in which the 
Potassium permanganate is tetran solution. Iodometry, in which we have two tetran solutions, freodine and sodium tiosulfate. Bromatometry, in which we have potassium bromate as tetran solution. Bromometry, in which we have free bromine as tetran solution. Dichromatometry, in which we have potassium dichromate as tetran solution. Serometry, in which we have ser cerium sulfate as tetran solution. And chlorine iodometry, uh, in which we have iodine chloride as tetran solution. As in uh, another uh, titration methods, there are three types of titration. Direct titration, back titration, and substitution titration. In our first lecture, we discuss about this, uh, that in direct titration, we have just one titran solution in which uh, titran solution is directly added to the analyte uh, solution. Second, back titration in which we have two titran solutions. For example, in this determination of the uh, sodium sulfate, we have two titrants, uh, the first titrant freodine and second sodium tiosulfate. Substitution titration, for example, uh, to the analyzed sample is added the another substance in which uh, the, uh, as the result of the reaction uh, form quantitatively released the a new product of the reaction, uh, direct titration of which is possible. For a redox titration, the equivalence point is the point where uh, potential of the forward reaction is equal uh, to the potential of the reverse reaction. Since the E wireless R concentration depend we must really on the next equation. From the, its the next equation, uh, E, its potential, E0, normal uh, redox potential. In the re oxidation reduction methods, instrumental and uh, indicator methods are used to determine the equivalent point. The first redox indicators exist in two forms, oxidized, like this indicator oxidized, and reduced, indicator reduced. And the equation have this form. The transition of the indicator from one form to another uh, and a change in its color occurs at the certain transition potential according to the nernst petters equation. We have the nernst petters equation, E, its potential, E0 is normal electron uh, redox potential. Uh, this is the indicator of the oxidation form, indicator of the reduction form. A redox indicator is a compound that changes color when it goes from its oxidized to its reduced states. As we see, for example, they have the different color in oxidizing form and in reducing form. For example, ferrine uh, is pale blue in oxidizing form and red in reducing form. If oxidizing form of indicator divide in a reduction reduction form of indicator uh, divide and uh, it's equal one divided ten, then redox potential have this form. If vice versa, indicator of the oxidation form divide indicator of the reduction form equal ten divided one then the equation have this form. The transition interval of the redox, redox indicators is not large in contrast to acid-base indicators. 
among the redox in the ketters are distinguished. Reversible redox in the ketters reversibly changing their color with a change in the potential of the system. R reversible redox in the ketters which undergo R reversible oxidation or reduction. Luminescence in the ketters in solutions of which luminescence appears at the corresponding potential. Uh, as an example of diphenylamine, we can see that the diphenylamine in reducing forms it is colorless and in oxidizing form it's violet and the structure formal uh, before titration and after titration is different. Phenyl antronylic acid, it's oxidation reduction indicator. Ferroine, oxidation reduction indicator. It's uh, one of these in oxidizing, one of these in reducing form. Methylene blue, in oxidized forms, it's blue, green. In reduced form, it's colorless. Indicators, which used in redox metric, we have the specific indicators, redox indicators, external indicators, and the are reversible specific indicators. From the specific indicators, the comple completion of the reduction reaction in which freodine is consumed, color change blue to colorless. Theocyanate, which forms a soluble red colored complex. These have the red colored complex with iron 3 positive. Redox indicators, a visual indicator used to signal the end point in the redox titration. External indicators, iodo starch paper in nitritometry. The R reversible specific indicators, methyl orange in bromatometry. Specific indicators, as we said before, starch, methyl red, methyl orange, iodine, starch paper, they are external indicators. Specific indicators, for example, starch with a iodine ion, uh, it gives us blue complex. It is an easy to detect and rapid indicator. This explains why iodine is a common tetrant, even through it is a weak oxidant. The types of visual indicators are used to signal the end point in a redox titration. We have titration without indicator. If tetrant has color, when, for example, uh, permanganate iron is used as an in the oxidizing tetrant. The solution remains colorless until the first drop of excess potassium permanganate is added. In permanganatometry, there is not used indicator. The role of the indicator is place a potassium permanganate tetrant solution. Tetration with indicator and physical chemical methods of equivalence point fixing potentiometric, amperometric, and volt amperometric. Titration without indicator. There is, uh, we can see, bread in which we have potassium permanganate, it's purple. And in the, in the conical flask, we have the analyte solution. Self-indicator. Redox titration curves. 
redox saturation curves are graphical representation of the change in potential of a solution depending on the volumetric of added tetrant. And it depends on potential, depending on the potential on the volume of the solution. During titration, a change in the potential of the redox pair of analyte and titrant occurs. Redox potential equal is normal redox potential plus 0.059 divided n multiplied logarithm and oxidation form divided reduction form. For example, consider the calculation of the titration curve of a solution of 0.1 normality of iron sulfate with a solution of potassium permanganate in an acidic medium. Uh, we will take the uh, su iron sulfate as a substance A, potassium permanganate as a substance B. There is an equation of the reaction. Iron sulfate, it's a determinate sample. Potassium permanganate is titrant solution. Sulfuric acid is a medium for this reaction. At any moment of the titration, in the solution are two redox pairs. The first redox pair, uh, we have two uh, elements in this reaction with a variable oxidation degree. One of these is iron. From positive three, it change into uh, from positive two, it change into positive three. Another element with a variable oxidation degree is uh, manganese. It's from positive seven, from anion form, change into positive two. So we have two oxidation reduction pairs. The first uh, redox pair. Uh, iron 3 positive, iron 2 positive, it have 0 0.77 volt and uh, the next uh, redox pair manganate, iron and manganese 2 positive, 1.51 volt. Potentials of pairs are equal from this to the substance A to the uh, iron sulfate, for the iron sulfate, uh, potential is equal uh, with, instead of uh, uh, normal electron redox potential, we put the value of the first redox potential pair. Uh, to, uh, for the substance B, uh, instead of E0, normal uh, redox potential, we put the values of the second uh, redox pairs and we have the equation for each substances A and B. First of all, it is necessary to determine the values of the concentrations iron 3 positive, iron 2 positive and manganese negative, manganite uh, anion negative, manganese 2 positive. For this is calculated to treated fraction P. To treated fraction P. To treated fraction P is equal volume of the substance P multiplied normality concentration of substance B divided volume of substance A multiplied normality concentration of the substance A. And instead of this, we put the value for each substances and we find. Similarly, the concentration of the residue of the reduced form iron 2 positive is equal to its initial concentration multiplied by the non titrated fraction 1 minus P. And the concentration of the uh, red form is equal concentration of iron 2 positive 1 minus P, non titrated fraction, and it's equal concentration of the iron sulfate, 
1 minus P, non-titrated fraction. And redox potential for this is equal 0 0.77 Watt. If concentration of hydrogen protons is taken equal to 1, the formula will take the form redox potential E equal normal redox potential plus 0 0.059 divided N logarithm concentration of the reduce, uh, re oxidation form divide concentration of re the reduction form, reducing form, and instead of E0, we put the uh, redox potential of potassium permanganate, and we find indicator errors of redox titration are caused by a mismatch between the end point of the titration and the equivalent point. The following data is necessary to calculate the error. Standard redox potential of the reacting redox pair, potential at the equivalence point, transition interval of the proposite redox indicator. For example, let us consider the calculation of the indicator error of the titration of iron sulfate with a solution of potassium permanganate with an indicator diphenylamine. In the presence and absence of orthophosphoric acid, titration half reaction have this, this form and uh, re, uh, potential of the redox pair of iron 3 positive, iron 2 positive is equal, we now 0 0.77 volt, and equal 1. Equation for this reaction and uh, redox potential for the redox pair of bichromate, anion and chromine 3 positive is equal 1.33 volt and equal 6. Titration without orthophosphoric acid. We determine the potential of the equivalent point. Equi uh, potential of equivalent point is equal 0 0.77 plus 1.33 multiplied 3, 6. 1.33, it is the nor normal redox potential of the redox pair of chrom chromate and uh, chromine 3.